Hello, just wanted to do a quick video on filtering. Filtering is um, incredibly powerful in Tecla EPM. It's something you should be doing every day. But And a lot of you already do this, but I'm finding more and more people are trying to get down to data that they should be filtering for, them and they're just picking through reports or something. I'm going to go into the project management module just to illustrate this, and this is the beta version if you hadn't seen it. But I'm going to go into the drawing log just to illustrate filtering. If you go up to the drop down up top, you'll see the filter option. And you'll see that about anywhere you go in the software. If the inventory, there's a filter button. If I go over into production control and go into a job, and I go up to the drop down up top, you're going to see another filter button there. So filtering is just everywhere. If you are doing a cut list, you're going to see a filter option. You, you, know, you see filter options everywhere, and it is so powerful in here because you can filter by so many things. And notice that the filters build on top of each other. So let's say that here I wanted to look at production control sequence and look at only um, sequence three. And then let's say if I want to look at the transmittal status um, for only those that are returned. Now, since I'd already set a filter for for sequence three, I'm only looking at the transmittal statuses that apply to, to um, sequence three, and I only want to look at what is returned. But let's take it even further. Let's go to, say, the drawing log name. This is new, by the way. Um, let's say I only want to look at assembly drawings. And let's go down even further and say production control category, maybe just look at the what is the category of grading maybe. And I'm gonna apply the filter and now I only have three drawings. So you can get very granular in your filtering process here, which is really, really nice. So um, be sure you use filters. It will help you tremendously. One other thing I wanna point out is that you can save filters as well. One quick way of doing that, just go into your filter type and if I go in here and go new, notice it saved that for me. Or I can change this however I want and um, put in whatever filter I want. I can name it and say uh, sequence three, assembly, blah, blah, blah. Whatever I want to put for it, go add. And if you'll notice when I, when I close this, let's say I go back out of the filters, clear these filters. If I go back into filter, I now have this sequence three assembly here. Set that and notice all of this changes back right now. I can filter for it again. So you can quickly save filters just so that if it's a filter you use constantly, come into filter types, save the filter, and uh, you, can, you can filter down to that data anytime you want to. Let me know in the comments below if you have any questions or just comment if you found this useful and uh, we will see you next time. Thanks everyone.